yeah, still a number of things for us to work on. I, you know, I think we deserve to win the game and uh, probably weren't quite as accurate in the second half and didn't have as much ball in the second half as we had in the first half. But I, you know, I was pleased, pleased to get the win. Uh, be nice to be sitting in the coach's box, not sort of going through, uh, you know, feeling that this game's going to go down to the wire. But uh, in fairness to the boys, they they, they scrambled well. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, pleased with the result. What aspects of the game have improved? What do you still need to work on? Um, I, I think defensively at times we were good. Um, there's a few... Few moments. I think a number of players would have learned a lot from today's experience and some of those combinations. You know, the midfield. I thought Joe Hawkins carried well, and we got caught a little bit defensively on a, on a couple of occasions, and just making some some right decisions. Um, but uh, yeah, there's a there's a there's a lot of growth in, in this team with with some of the youngsters, and so you know, I think they'll, like I said, they'll learn from that and they'll get better from it. And how did you assess Reece Swab's contribution in uh, steering them round, if you like? Oh, I, I thought he was excellent in that game in terms of the, the way he, his decision-making and controlled the game. He kicked well. Um, yeah, he hasn't played at this level for, for a while, and uh, so we were always thinking, you know, when, when, when's, when do we need to make a, a change in terms of his legs and stuff? Um, but I thought his contribution was, was excellent, and... Um, and his decision making you know, in terms of not trying to force things, not trying to not trying too hard, and, and when that opportunity arose, where you know, he's gone through the gap and picked up Felatel for the try, I thought um, you know he's he's made the right call, and so you know he I thought it was a, it was a great contribution by him. And where are you in terms of fitness for the final game? Williams and Scott Baldwin coming off today, and Dan Bigger's availability. Where where are you on those? Uh, Dan Dan's, Dan will be fine. Um, yeah, you know, a few guys are a bit banged up and stuff, and a bit of cramping and, and things. Uh, Scott Baldwin's got a uh, a pec injury that he probably need to get scanned, which will uh, potentially count him out of next week. Um, and Liam Williams is just uh, he's got a bit of a clavicle. Uh, Josh Adams a slight um, is it ACL. Oh yeah, I think it's just a knock to the knee. Yeah, knock to the yeah, knee or something. Yeah, so. He, he he carried on, so he should be okay. Um, yeah, just a few guys banged up, really. Ken, what was the emotion on the the field during that game when you got into that big lead and able to hold on? What did it feel like from the middle? No, I thought um, the way we prepared over the last two weeks um, is everything we experienced out there. We knew how we were going to play. Um, the non-23 boys, to be fair, have been absolutely outstanding. Uh, in prepping us um, for what to expect and uh, Italy didn't dis disappoint we stuck to our game plan um, first half was pretty much ideal how, what we wanted to, wanted to do second half early on they won some collisions got momentum and then showed um, how good they are and how talented they are so you know there's out there I thought we were in control um the small conversations we've spoken about and uh, tips, like Atta said, in the, in the week. Um, it's about getting back to enjoying it, and I felt we did that tonight, um, this afternoon. And, you know, there's been a lot going on over the last um, six or seven weeks, um, on and off the field, uh, but we've worked hard. Everybody's been in this group, and um, it was good to see that enjoyment, working hard for each other, you know, when we're under the pump that bit of composure and uh, we'll grow from this uh, we got a perhaps lacked a bit of confidence over the last couple of weeks but I felt we were we were confident we were patient um, we problem solved and we just got to build from there and you know, it's going to be another challenge against uh, France next week and obviously leading on to the World Cup and what are you hoping to get from the, the preparations being held in France and how confident are you of being able to challenge them in Paris now yeah, we're confident. We've got a talented group of players, um, a lot of experience. We coach very well, um, so we'll, we'll be confident going to Paris. You know, they are a, you know one of the best teams in the world. Um, they're on a, a phenomenal run, but you know we we got nothing to fear, nothing to lose. Uh, we'll go to Nice now, and uh, we'll have a um, four or five days prep out of the Goldfish Bowl. 
which will be great. And um, I'll be concentrating on the rugby and um, and work hard and and uh, turn up at Paris to uh, try and get a W. Hi, Warren. Um, Ken's touched on it there, the confidence. Just how much is that going to be a boost now moving forward, you know, after sort of a run of, run of defeat? Yeah, um, I think it'd be massive. And, uh, you know, I saw that today, the, the times when we were, you know, either had fallen off a tackle or they'd made a bit of a break. I just saw their scramble in terms of getting back and working hard for each other was was probably, to me, one of the biggest highlights. And, and, and I think Ken's touched on it as well. I mean, the nice thing about the last sort of two weeks, it's the first time that we've actually been able to just fully concentrate on the rugby without other issues going on behind behind the scenes. So there's no doubt that's made a, a big difference to this group. And and we spoke before the game about uh, being smart in the way that we wanted to play, but also being brave and, and, and you know, taking those opportunities, being, moving the ball. And, um, you know, I didn't feel that, you know, it was a game that, you know, we just had to win and, um, you know, I, I thought we deserved to win the, today against a, an Italian team that's, you know, it's obviously obviously improving, and probably the most athletic uh, Italian side that I've seen for a number of years. And Ken, you've touched on what's been going on off the field. Just how much, given everything you've been through in the last few weeks, did the, the win mean to you? Yeah, it meant a lot to me, but it's it's, it's not about me. It's about the, a group. We're trying to build something, and we're bit we are building. Um, that togetherness, that tightness as a as a squad of management. It doesn't happen overnight and I'm just I th- I think obviously you won't see a lot of it, but I think the work that the non twenty three have put in over the last two weeks, Alex King mentioned it after the game, the work that they've put in uh, over the last two weeks has shown you know where we're trying to get to as a squad. They've really challenged the boys who were starting and coming off the bench and prepped us really well and I think that's that's testament to where we're trying to get to, and it was a victory for the whole squad and management. Ken, Pam, what is it? Pam, find that the key win high with the goal yesterday, Hedy. Yeah, happy to see you. Quite a with the goal yesterday. I think game galled. Manun Mar Talwer, Manun Tapla Givel, Felti Macarvan, Felil Gwald, Carlino, and Gerdith. Manun Kira Australia and a blue team that Manun team that I am. Um, so you go to the Charles and Dom Mars now, and just proud of our boys are from Manuri Paratoy, um, a caravan caravan. It just the boys in the choir heavy. Um, I just it just happens to he powers he then ungroup me. I'm a guy to see the Mimlandrosa, who he says that no stretcher. He can't even go there. That I'm in higher. Um, poor moment or game heavy. Yeah, can't even go there. And sure, a good he had there. Um, or he drove Gorwell on to get Frank with success. Yeah, um in beth ma ma enel and angel von habet or ma ma coffee angel von habet so lady calna master system now ma right cardum momentum but i guess on the vera guetha um pandod that be frank with us as i what you know team at gore and a beat at a moment um so what but i guess that was not and go body and we've a lot house paratoy are all with the a card momentum near a call call hoil from Nida Hevid. Yeah, he near Frank was an essa, part of the game. Ah, Catacan Wint your Thuir are a game now. Yeah, so I think great Nithin Nida and Duvil and Ignau. Um, I'm angry from that, what both Marcel Fro, uh, Tiasano, or Gambriam of Nos Hevid, ah, Halamoyam said and Gilith, or in our um, a boys have it all the other car. Um, got a lot of boys even boys now went to many of the car So uh, no, but then great. And I think we thought that I am and do you feel indig now? We should be then of not star or or paratoy. Uh, we thought with the back and do you mark now? Beth Mary Borden can bridge us. Uh, have not stressed that. So Nani Nedjak Nan at um, got car momentum land now. Ra, I mean the he Paris. Yeah, just an old landfill. The other Gaslicky Ennis. I'm real draw or draw. Ah, uh, Pamela is a old neighbour. Discul need to ma have the Ennis, so be neighbour should have discul. You mean the Paris Ennis of us of us as such. So, um, Rani Carlos had there a momentum in the Garvan Cup, but Rani Guetta and and Rai Agüe their game, and Puyoir, um, my digging a talent in the Garvan. 